Hey guys, hi, Brent April here, Web Tennis, and today's episode of What's the Right Shot is going to feature our 4.5 guys. And uh, specifically, what we're looking uh, at here is going to be the timing of when do we want to split step uh, when we're transitioning up to net uh, behind our serve. And we've got a couple of examples here that I think will uh, really illustrate uh, the importance of split stepping sooner than later. So here we go. Okay, we're going to look at a point here uh, with Gil as the server. And uh, Gil, I've got two samples of you when you're serving. One from this side here in the deuce court and there from the ad side uh, where you split step too late. And and whatever return comes back, it ends up getting by you. And I remember when we were talking this day that you were mentioning, well, you know, isn't my job to get all the way up from either your serving or returning serve and get up, you know, at least to the service line. And, you know, the reality is, no, we just cannot do that unless you have a, you know, a, a, a high bouncing second serve that takes time to get over there and you're playing against an opponent who stays, you know, actually behind the baseline. Then, yeah, you might have enough time to be able to close the gap from the baseline to get up here to the service line. But in reality, you have got to think about you're going to be playing shots in this area here as transitional shots, and that's okay. Um, in fact, I'd rather play a transitional shot from here than to have it way down low here at my feet at the service line. You know, the geometry from here is really tough as opposed to back here. And what we're going to see on this point here is you, do, you guys do a good job of of a poach, but you're going to see, Gil, that the ball ends up getting getting played, and there's and there's your split. In fact, it's not even a split; it's kind of a it's kind of a, you know kind of a redirecting of if, if you will of, of of your feet, and you never really get a chance to where you can get back and recover. And this is this is kind of a tough ball. So I don't want you guys from stopping what you do with your poach. Uh, with Carlos poaching, but what I would suggest is right here, go into a split step so that you can cover. I mean, you can cover up the line off of this split. If he takes it, slides it up the line, you can split step in here and still be able to cover that. You could split step here and be able to cover another deep lob to this corner as well. Um, and the same with this shot here. You could you you could split on this back in here and much more easily be able to cover this shot here and be able to play it um, not only on balance but be able, you know be able to play it where you think is the right spot for Carlos. Now, Carlos, one thing I will tell you is that Gil does not miss this shot by by very much, and the one spot he wants to go with this is not at Steve because he's not going to get much on it. The one spot he wants to go is probably back here in the middle. And with you standing up here, you're kind of running interference for that shot direction. So make sure that when you guys play this, that if the lob goes over you, which is going to happen a lot, in fact, that, that might be one of the plays I would use to defend against you poaching so much, is that if the lob goes over you and Gil covers it, you know, you got to assume that he's going to be able to handle this and you got to get down, got to bend the knees, get down low. So he's got he's got an easy target uh, to go back in this direction here.
Okay, Gil, here's that second uh, point where we need to work on you split stepping sooner. And what you're going to see here is Steve's going to play a, a nice wide return that if you were to split early, if you were to split right about here and really be able to think of this as, and, and I do this all the time when I play against someone like Carlos or even Steve who likes to take the return to serve early, uh, even Steve Cornell, I, I feel I need to split step here to be able to, if they give me worst case, which is a ball down low here, that I, if I split here, I can let that ball get up a little bit and not have to play it as a tough half volley. And I can easily then kind of either play, you know, the the backhand as kind of a slice back down low, you know, or I can sort of allow the returner to get in really close. And if this guy also closes, then I can play that little lob over this corner. But what happens here is you don't get split until there. And that's where you start trying to react to it. And by now, it's by you. It's just gone. And so if you will split right right as the guy hits it that if you if you split in here you can easily cover this shot out wide um, because you you've already recognized that it's going there and so that's going to be my piece of advice to you on this is when you play um, when you play especially against guys who take the return early you got to split step early let the ball bounce up to you so you can play it as a nice little slice approach or a nice little slice uh, lob approach.